Uh, so you guys missed it. We're playing as Ethan Hawke. Um, yep. I mean, that was us. And, yeah, so we, we're down in this bunker. It looked like below Moscow, and we don't know... Like, we, we don't know how we got there or what's going on. How old Amnesia. is this game? I don't know. Like, not I even thought, a general I was, idea? I think that was your opening to reuse that joke that you said between games. That I, was said between I didn't games. say that. 1953. Was... It came out in 1953. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> there, you go. Right. there you go. Jokes, jokes, jokes. Hey. It's important that we get them out quickly. Um, jokes go old really quantity, quick. Quantity, not quality. <laughs> That's what I always say. I say it a lot. It's getting weird. Stop it. So stop saying that all the time. <laughs> I don't, I'm just looking around this room. Okay. Whoa. Let's open okay, this wait. door. So this is basically like mist, is what I'm I figuring out. Oh, is it? I thought it was going to be like a weird old action game. Everything here is. I might. Who knows? It's like Russian it's like terror mist. Leak occurred. <laughs> right. That's. Well, we can move forward, I think. This is probably one of those games that was like started development when, like, the KGB was still a thing, and then probably came out after they were done. Um. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a. That's not a thing that doesn't exist. It... <sighs> Keith, What's don't that? tell me you're a KGB believer. Oh my god. <laughs> The kid. What's up? <laughs> what you talk? Tell me everything you know about Soviet Russia. Um. Oh, we're gonna get Austin right, super defensive fine. about no, communism. Okay. I'm excited no, about we're this. Not. We're not. Yeah, we are. I know when this game was released. Wait, what are we gonna be doing about Russia? I'm not going to defend Soviet Russia. I'm not going to defend, Stal defend Stalinism. I'm not a monster. I don't believe um, you. Was it? It, so are you, are you saying Soviet that Russia in was disbanded in '94, guys? Right? What year do you think this? The I have no idea. The Soviet Union was disbanded in '91. '91. '90. 90. No. 1890. 1890. Yeah. yeah. 1890. <laughs> 1891. <laughs> Does anyone want to place bets on when this was released? Because I know. Just, uh, like a couple of years ago, right? Was it? Then, yeah. I, like, all I saw was that it won. George FMV. Blocked. That's an old thing. <laughs> Two, can't really see the game because it's in a super tiny window for me. Is. Yeah, it was like 18 months ago. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So no, they were not working on this in the late okay. 1980s. I was, I was under the assumption that this is a game that came out like, like a long, long time ago. <laughs> and Mist. We're talking about Mist too. That's an old ass game. Yeah, we're except Mist, Mist was like still images that you moved between. You didn't get to actually physically move in that space. That's a yeah. big technology difference. Yeah, there wasn't there wasn't like a Mist game that looked like this until like two thousand or something. So I have this thing. I have like a pass with a name on Ooh. it. I don't know if it's my name. Born in nineteen twenty five it says. Probably you. Gleb Ivanovich Nikolaev. It sounds That's like a definitely a Russian name that checks out. Yeah. Yep. It's weird that this is all in English. The guy, the guy's <laughs> accent was very English, and I don't How know if that's on we purpose play or, or not. I mean, fucking get immersed, man. Oh, Learn that Russian. Uh, it's too dark in here. A man. So, I want to go back to like everything points to this game being super old. The resolution is locked in four by three. I think that's like a the, stylistic thing. Yeah, the I'll tell you one thing: the menu was way too stylistic for it to be anything older than like three years. Yeah, I think that's, that I would agree. I with think that. they want it to feel old and low res and like gritty and stuff, and they're mm -hmm. using resolution as a part dark. of that like toolbox. It's too dark in here, and I can't which is interesting. Problem. Maybe not the maybe not the best idea, but it's interesting. <laughs> it's also not in four by three. Because I'm seeing it in widescreen right here. Me too. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe that was just an old. No, comment. it's not. Yeah, it's uh, it's. I think it's 720, 1280 by 720. Mm -hmm. I could have sworn that thing said. It I did. It definitely did. I also did. think maybe it just froze while I was trying to save. Maybe. Maybe it's just saving a long time. Sure. Yeah, those menus are real pretty. Taking its time to save. I really like this menu situation. 
I really like the way the text oh, sharpens just, when you just, mouse over it. Just straight up turned off, so that's. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, let's <laughs> jump back in. Jump right back in there. See how that went. Oh boy. I mean, this is actually a roguelike, and that was a that was a save and quit. <laughs> It's a roguelike, and Man. also you you die by saving. I never, <laughs> I never thought in a million years that roguelikes would become popular enough for me to be sick of how many of them there are. <laughs> That's a surprise. Yeah. I I oh, music's really loud right now, but I'll turn it down in a second. I apologize for people's ears. Okay, this now loading screen looks kind of old too. Now that I look at it, here's a like DP digital loading screen, or like that loading screen, or like a splash. Hey, that... I think it saved. Nice, cool. Bobos. No more of that. So this is like a Doom prequel. <laughs> Probably. Uh, I was gonna say I am totally okay with the number of roguelikes there are, and I would like for there to be more. I like roguelikes a whole bunch, um, so I'm I'm also okay with it. But I am shocked at how much it's taken off in the last few that's, years. That's true. I, I will I will agree with that. Like I'm surprised. There's also just stuff like you know, like we we talked about Dark Souls earlier. Like it's too mm -hmm. dark in here. I think I not that that's a roguelike, is. but that uh, no, 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 I think no. that yeah. games like that have have mm -hmm. introduced a, a new generation of people to like. Oh yeah, hard games can be really fun. Yeah, like games I, I, games where you you die a lot but learn things can be really fun. Yeah. And yeah. then have probably also driven some designers to check out actual roguelikes, and then from sure. there, yeah. it's like, oh, hey, yeah, this is a thing that's cool. Yeah, Sorry. I've definitely it's gotten difficult. way more into... Uh, my my tolerance for difficulty in video games has mm -hmm. skyrocketed in the past couple of years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I feel similarly. Jordan in the chat says, should we mark it as save and quit? Nah, they'll figure it out. <laughs> 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 we did. I mean, the very Soviet design decision. It's actually the the menu option just says egress. <laughs> I wanted to see what it meant. <laughs> well, we have to buy the game now. We, we already left. It's gonna charge us again. What's really cool is how authentic the game is. Like, I'm pretty sure the save and quit button is in Russian. <laughs> oh no! Look at that. Uh. So I'm tr I'm just like I'm basically pixel hunting here. The little yep. uh the little icon here will turn yellow if there's anything I can click on. Mm -hmm. And so far I'm not finding a lot. Everything's really dark. What is your current objective? I mean, there's just there's a door here that I can't get out of. It says it's locked and that it's too dark to see anything. So I think I'm looking for a flashlight or something. Yeah, or Maybe a, like a light switch or is there there's a light source from some coming from somewhere. Yeah, I mean, there's these lights here. There's like emergency red lights. Yeah, I'll see them in a minute. In a couple of <laughs> couple of hours, when Twitch catches up. Twitch delay. Did you guys see uh, Jared left Twitch? That makes me sad. Oh, did he? What's he doing now? Uh, no, he, he, hasn't, he hasn't announced. Did he announced anything? He I didn't says see. he's announcing something in a couple of weeks. I think. Yeah. Um, but he, he Who's has Jared. Who's Jared? The subway guy, the guy who lost all the weight. Yeah, that's, yep. that's, that's, that's what we meant. <laughs> Jesus, <Ooh>. these cuts <laughs> on CBS. Um, yeah, that's. I bet he's gonna do something cool. I hope he does. Yeah, something he cool. said he's pretty excited about it. He said it had dream fulfillment potential of mm -hmm. a, a lot, something like that. So. No, seriously, who the fuck is Jared? God, he sounds it's like the Twitch like community. Yeah. Figurehead. Okay. Uh, fan of the show, friend of the show. Let's say. Oh yeah, flip those switches. Doors blocked. What's that do? I don't know. It makes it's like, like a loud bolts. noise, but then the it, they is. flip back up. Yeah, he just so keeps saying like that. You the... and then flip them. <laughs> he just keeps a saying. A dumb jerk. <laughs> A dumb jerk says, yeah, you hit the button and the lights come on, but also the KGB gets unleashed. It's like the beginning of Prey. You, f you feel super bad about it. Yep. Oh, God, um, the beginning of Prey is so good. 
Yeah, you might know Jared as a member of the Power Bomb cast. Oh, that guy. Yeah, that guy. He was also in Dallas Buyers Club, right? (laughs) (laughs) Jokes. Are we stuck? Do you want me to look at a walkthrough? Do you want me to look at a walkthrough, Phil? We're already stuck. I don't believe we're stuck on the first puzzle. Well, no, I, I, hey, I, I solved one puzzle. There was this... Uh, oh, the blowtorch? Yeah, I used a blowtorch to clean some shit up. I don't know. There was also the save game puzzle. Yep, that so was wait. a tough one. <laughs> if we solve this puzzle, do we get electricity for a casino? I don't understand. You That's my understanding. help on that little phone. No, it won't let me use it. Uh, You'd think that okay, would make, there- it make sense. Did you see the... Oh, yeah, you used the blowtorch in the little tanks, right? Yep. All right, you're supposed to follow the cables, Phil. Follow the there money? There are cables... Follow the hashtag, follow the cable money, cable TV money. There are cables that go from the generator to somewhere. So that you're trying to turn on the generator, and it's not working. So you're going to follow those cables and figure out where they go. I don't There's a lot of cables in this room. Yeah, like, I don't... Yeah, but it's the ones from the generator. Okay. There's, like... Six cables in a movie. I love that movie. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I mean, not there's... those cables. Not those cables. The wait, other ones. Wait, what? I'm. Oh, I guess it's hard for me to say because I'm like forty-five seconds behind you. Remember the ones that you blowtorched? I didn't blowtorch cables. Oh, you should be blowtorching cables. I thought you already blowtorched <laughs> cables. <laughs> I mean, yeah. There's there's these ones over here. Damn, you guys are coordinated. There, there are cables that have been frozen or something. Yeah, I, don't I got those. And then you did you blow blowtorch those? Yes. Okay. Once it's melted, you can you can try to make the generator work, but it will be in vain. So follow the cables. Go back to the door of the previous room and turn around. Look down. Click on the opened plaque. Okay. So you could have just told me that. I was trying. I didn't want to spoil it. I wanted you to feel like you solved it yourself, buddy. <laughs> I have I have some reviews of this game. Are they funny? They're lo- they're little little snippets. Um, All right. Wait, this I'm person. not Austin. There's nothing in this room. That no, I look see. down. Look down. <laughs> look straight down. I cannot look down any more than I am looking down at this. We we'll turn around. What is this guy like? A weird neck? Like the weirdest <laughs> neck? <laughs> That's that was a drop subtitle to this game. Weird 1953, neck. The weirdest neck. <laughs> KGB. It's a. Uh, it's why the KGB recruited him. Yep. Yeah. Um, him there's like a little. There's like a little cubby hole in the ground where wires are coming out in the generator room. In the generator. So wait, not in the staff room. You told me to go back to the staff room. I thought I didn't. I didn't write this, Phil. So. <laughs> Is there another walkthrough? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, I see it. So then you want to make sure that that adds up to 18 volts. What? Okay. Make it add up to 18 volts. Uh, oh. Math. Do your math. What's your review say to me? While Phil does math. The gameplay is horrible. Graphics <laughs> is bearable. The climate is damn awesome. That's why this game is great. The most important thing in every game. They gave it a 9. The weather? He gave it a 9 based on the weather? <laughs> I don't know what he means by climate. I think he I means atmosphere. atmosphere. <laughs> also, the gameplay is horrible, but I gave it a 9. <laughs> Okay. Uh, it's very unusual game. Dark, strange, but interesting. What do oh. we need to play a good game? This game tells us about USSR and show how to find a way from the deep. You guys, <laughs> I just realized there's a texture in Dark Forces here. I'm like in an imperial base. And on the wall, it's su- I think supposed to just look like a weird metal wall, but each tile says Ewoks suck on it in blue. <laughs> That's just like, <laughs> like this wall just says Ewoks suck like eight times in a row. Have you modded? That? Is there, are you playing on a console? Austin, can you do this I'm, math for I'm me? I'm playing the PlayStation it's, uh, 1 It's 8.5, 2.5, and 7.5. Or 7. 7. Yeah. Okay. I'll take it. Thanks, Austin. You're welcome, buddy. I don't like doing math. Me either. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, yeah, I see. It totally says Ewoks suck. Well, I think it worked. I think we did it. Well, did we unleash them? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> or at all. I think I did it. Yep. All by yourself. I solved the game. Do we get more live action stuff? Parts of the sealed door are jammed. Or FMB? So he says the uh, the door's jammed. Maybe there's something we can find now that there's lights on in here. He mm. couldn't have just waited for his eyes to adjust. <laughs> oh. Also, that door doesn't look jammed. That looks locked read with this, some uh, sort of crazy barring system. Let's read this magazine on radio delivered. engineering. Ooh. Oh my god, this is a lot of stuff. <laughs> I hope I don't need to know any of this. Oh <laughs> I hope it's like Bioforge, where you have to know minute details 12 pages in. The end of the game completely hinges on you engineering. <laughs> what, is, what is Bioforge? I don't know what that is. Uh, that was a really interesting game. It's, you a, it's said an old PC first. game that they played through on Giant Bomb. Yeah. Oh. Um, you there's a point say bad game? Yeah, it was. And I, you know what? It isn't. It's a very interesting game. It's, it doesn't deserve it to be It is a bad. hilarious game. It is. It and there's can a point be bad which, and interesting. It can, but I, I don't know that it is bad. I yeah, haven't like played dark. it. dark. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, but there's a bit in that game where you need to know some like tiny four-digit number that's randomly generated every time you start the game, and it's in like a 25-page document that you have to go through. Is that is that like a because I know like a lot of a lot of PC games used to do like weird um. Oh no, this is a document in the, oh, game. In the game. This okay. isn't copy protection. This isn't yeah, like yeah. Uh, you have to... Yeah. But is there a way to go back and find the thing? Or does it just not yeah. even tell you that that's... I mean, that's a solution to the puzzle. It's in someone's, like, long diary or whatever. You know? It's like, oh, and then... Uh, it's like 25 pages of... So did we actually... Because like, I, I haven't watched this Giant Bomb video. Was there, was there 20, like, just... Minutes and minutes of them reading through that twenty five. No, pages. they just fucking stay just like mm -hmm. just they skimmed keep, until they, they saw skimmed. numbers. Yeah, like okay, it must be this. Until they find the entry that was just like, oh, I changed the code to the jail today. <laughs> it's now seven three two one. I'm glad there were twenty I, twenty five pages before that. I'm sure the twenty five pages were like really interesting and it was like deep story Bible shit, like ugh. their personal research, the stuff that the character was going through. Mm -hmm. That's Sorry, not, that sounds, sounds really fucking operating. annoying. <laughs> Actually, so guys are create, er, I said he creates me. That's not what I meant to say. Well, he corrects me. But he also does kind of create me in a way. It's a journal. He corrects me. Okay, You're looking Phil. for a saw, Phil. You need a saw. Phil, uh -oh. what's up? You have to stop playing this game right now and write a review for it. Uh, <laughs> what out of five? Right now? Yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's hard it to say because, like, I don't, I don't think necessarily like nothing that I've played in this game has been like terrible so far. It's just a like, it's like a puzzle game. I don't know. It's like an adventure, an old adventure game. If you were writing for Steam Community, then you would have a review by now. Yeah. Um, I don't Point know. It would probably be. I mean, like right now, I would, I would probably just give it a three. This person gives it a recommended. Wow. And they say, Harsh. Socialism from a Satanist point of view. What? Yep. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Is that because that means like things could get interesting if there's Satanism in here? Me I think someone is from Russia and also butthurt. And Satanists are like kind of the same thing. Yeah, maybe they meant Stalinist. Let's hope not. Can you imagine no, I, how I think... amazing this game would be if it was more like Gone Home? <laughs> That'd be pretty great. A lot just of open up boxes of like old. I, I, I think what they were saying was that the game makes socialism look really evil, like what a Satanist would make it look like, or something, because Satanists are really evil. All or, or like are, are all a real thing. I mean, Wait, Satanists real, like, are a real thing. Yeah, oh. and they're all about like the self. They're all about. Oh, God, you guys believe in the KGB and Satanists? <laughs> I was gonna say yes. Guys, Satanist I'm using this phone now. Just paint a picture of communism that was like. Very much McCarthy era, I think. Oh, they would do. They would be perfectly in line with that. Yeah. This guy says, "Great mystic puzzle solving game, short but fun." I don't know if he means wait, wait, mystic goal mystic? or like <laughs> mystic or like like mist. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough to say. It's very mystic. It well, would have been much clearer song. if he said a Riveny. <laughs> Ravenian. Ravenian key. <laughs> Ravenian the secret <laughs> mystic. <laughs> Parts what if he said, like, it left me rivened? <laughs> <laughs> I was rivened by this game. 
mechanical parts. Something about so Rivendale. <laughs> uh, I have the saw. You should saw something. Mechanical oh, the way out of the door. Jammed. Probably. That's my guess. But I don't. You cut I those like little that. little bars, maybe. Yeah. Maybe you've got to cut, cut the, the wires that are keeping the locking mechanisms working. <laughs> With your saw, Jesus. Although you have a blowtorch that totally yeah, works. No, I the blowtorch is gone now. <laughs> Fucking single-use blowtorches. Also, I can't. It doesn't seem like I can do anything here. You can't saw those little like. It's really crazy. Those look very sawable. I misread this thing. This guy says, "Save your money and avoid this." And I'm, be avoid this questionable. And I'm being generous. Game, uh, meaning like, oh, it's questionably a game. But what I read it as is, "Save your money and avoid this." And I'm being generous. Game, <laughs> like, <laughs> he was addressing the game. <laughs> also, you can't write a review where it says this game is rinse and repeat for two hours, and then it says point one hour on record. Like, I see you. <laughs> You idiot, you're not getting anything past us. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I don't... Apes played it offline for hours? Check your... I'm pretty sure you have to cut the bars. I'm guessing you, you cut bars. It literally won't I let me cut the bars. Tried to, yeah. I, don't, I don't know where Hash, you're... Can you go... Cut the phone cord? Could, could I ask, what the fuck does this have to do with the KGB? I don't, we're in we're Russia, Russia, I guess. We're, I think we're still in the leashed stage. Are we in Russia? Because everything's still in English. Yeah, the KGB no, has not Moscow. been unleashed at this point. Okay. Um, I had a I swear to God, I thought that this, this was going to be like a first-person action game about <laughs> like fighting crazy KGB <laughs> agents. Ooh, okay. Use the circular saw on the wall outlet and then the door. Uh, on the what? <laughs> on the wall outlet. You know, use use the electrical metal tool in the electrical socket. Where what wall It'll be outlet? Safe. What is fine. It? Well, as it's long a as little round, round outlet to the right of the door. Oh, it's like on the is. wall. It doesn't look like a thing that we would call an outlet. It, and also, I don't. Wait, what? Oh, I plugged it to in. To the right I guess. of the door. Okay. Yes, there you go. Oh, you plug oh. it in the dumb. I thought you were just yeah. putting the circular saw into the outlet. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I was like, why would I? I guess the KGB would... wouldn't have battery-powered circular saws. <laughs> Right, well, right now that saw is leashed, but later. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to the point where the saw becomes unleashed. Crockbox says, use honey on the cat to make a mustache. Yep. yep. I, mean, I, I hate to be that guy, but so far this game seems anything but unleashed. <laughs> very and leashed. then you can cut the big bar thing, so it looks well, like. After yeah. this level, um, the sun goes down and you turn into a werehog. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Whoa! <laughs> And then you guys, shit's forward. happening. Shit's getting unleashed. Hold on. Okay. okay. We'll wait. There's a hallway. What? Hold on, you'll see. Shit's clean their blinders. Shit's about to get unleashed. I can't tell if Phil's just fucking with us with this delay. No, okay. I'm not this time. Something's happening for real. There were people here before. Time travel vision? Now they're not here. Whoa, what is this? Uh, is with Comstock? Important update here from Andrew Swan. Uh, I've got some text messages Ooh. from Andrew Lee Swan. Uh, you guys may know him as um, Dre. Yep. You guys may know him as... Uh, Get to the point. What, what other names does he go by? Swan Dre 3000. Swan Dre 3000, that's a good one. Um, you might know Obi him Swan as... Kenobi. Yeah, Obi Swan Kenobi is a good one. You might know him as um, at Andrew Lee Swan. There's a whole list. I mean, you know. Why you does might he have know so him as aliases? Cloud Strife? You see, on the lamb, Dre the Deuces, Swanderful Wizard of Oz, <laughs> Dre Dog, Swandre the Giant. Uh, Andrew, Andrew Swan says, uh, in all caps, "Let's make out." This is at 9:35 yeah. p.m. And uh -huh. at 11:06 uh, p.m., I got, "Why aren't we making out?" <laughs> Good question. I mean, he's got you. He's got you there. That is fair. So what happened in that cutscene that was going on where you could see... I don't ghosts? know. I was seeing, like, ghost, yeah. ghosts, uh, ghost communists. I, kinda, <laughs> I was kind of getting, like, a cryostasis vibe. Yeah, a little bit. I got picked up this punch card here. That's probably going to be handy, I'm sure. What's that game that's, like, Bioshock, God. but is, like, 
but is like Soviet Russia. Uh, Singularity. I hear that's pretty good. It's it's not it bad. is, it is definitely pretty good. Yeah, it's all, it's all right. I thought it was really great. Sector head. Gross. Virtuous Fear says, text him back, sex, 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 sex. Guys, don't go anywhere. I'm going to go get some Raisin Bran. Good luck. Wait, I hold on. You. Post or total? Post or total? Um, neither, actually. It's a store brand. Ugh. Raisin Bran. That's the worst. Of that's the uh, that's how things are going, huh? Wait, Yikes. did you mean Poster Kellogg's? Is it really? Po- I thought it was Poster. Oh, Total is a is a <laughs> um, special. Yeah. Right. <laughs> he just Kellogg. wants to get in the mood by eating some Soviet era fucking raisin bran to sleep him alone. <laughs> I need a special key here. He says I need a special key here. So apparently that's what we're on the lookout for. Jordan Mallory in the chat says, "Sext, I am streaming everywhere. Gross." And, and guys, remember, I do work with <laughs> a bunch like of people that experience. live in Russia, and I'm on shift right now. Out. So if you need me to ask them anything, they could probably help you out this game. Ask them, like, what ask them walk FVU through questions. <laughs> <laughs> can you just do that FVU thing where you, stand for? where you call them and just start saying numbers again? Because I feel like that would be in theme with this game. I'll just ask if they knew if if. I'll just ask them questions about 1953. They'll be like, "I'm 22." <laughs> yeah, out of I think for sure, like on out of all of us, Kyle has listed most numbers on that. It's just a brick wall here. I'm trying to figure out if I can Frost do anything. says, "Check your brand privilege." <laughs> <laughs> good times. Good times. Looks like everyone was evacuated. Uh, did you try to go through the wall, Phil? In a hurry. Yeah, I tried. Uh, it doesn't look like I can do anything right now, but maybe I can, like, just... Oh, man, there's comics for you to read. Go you guys, there's totally book. a Total Raisin Bran by General Mills. It's called Raisin Bran Total. Great. Yep. I'm glad that you... Yeah, great. I'm just saying there's a lot of different types of cereal that all call themselves Raisin Bran, and none of them seem to be in conflict with one another. That's just because it's completely descriptive. I guess, but like... It's so Bran it's- cereal with, with raisins in it. I guess. It's the same with cornflakes? Are there multiple yes. cornflakes? Yes. I thought there was only Kellogg cornflakes. I don't think so. I'm almost Maybe. positive there's only Kellogg cornflakes. working. I forgot that cornflakes were an anti-masturbation like all, thing. All, yeah, all cereals yeah. are... Well, not the current cornflakes. No, there was a, as a type there, of food. Yeah. yeah. It was it was because of Kellogg's brother. Yeah. Right. Who was a, a crazy nut job. Yeah. Was he? Yeah. Or was it the late 19th uh, century? No, no, no. He was even crazy. Like, even people then were like, eh, maybe not this guy. Laboratory staff forbidden to carry any firearms or other weapons. There was an incident. You should just read old textbooks. Wait, hold on. You wait, read that. Go back. It said eye ray or telekinesis. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mind over matter. Eye ray. I, w- I hope you get an eye ray. There's a comic you can read somewhere underneath a table. You should find that. I just got a. I just got a pencil. It's probably under a desk or something, right? This looks like some sort of... I'm pretty sure comics weren't invented until The Watchmen. <laughs> and they're called graphic novels. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, it's called Japanimation. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, you're talking about oh, my, here's my the, here's the. This must be what you meant. Ivan Petrovich carefully locked his safe. He did not forget to lock the door, but he forgot to shut his mouth. I don't know what that means. Yeah, it's just illustrated <laughs> Illustrated <laughs> Jokes magazine. <laughs> it's not really a joke. This is, he's having this medicine. Illustrated Threats magazine. The medicine is labeled criticism, and it says the medicine is bitter, but it's essential for your health. That's not really a <laughs> joke either. <laughs> Oh, wow. Although, to be fair, I think these are political cartoons. I guess. What are you guys reading, Ziggy? Funny. Yeah. This is uh, Garfield. Garfield <laughs> was weird in, during the Cold War. 
When I was little, Garfield I went to. Garfield without John. I went to a French immersion school, and every week we had to. They made us sign Communist. out a French book from the library. So we all fought over these French comics they had, but they were all like really highly illustrative comics that had like a lot of text and were like like political and didn't really make a lot of sense to elementary school kids. Um, and they remind me a lot of this. This reminds me a lot of that. I had the same thing, except there was a French version of I Spy that I would take out. Ah, oh, you hmm. son of a bitch. Yeah. I don't know what this is. What is this? Is this like a... It's probably Prime for learning French. Yeah. Oh, hey, I got a key. Okay. Great. Looks like there's blood on this wall. Great. Everything is going great. Janine, could I ask, what do you feel after the fact that you got out of your French immersion school experience? Just in... She knows French. Do you mean, do you mean like, what did I get out of it? Or hold do on, I think it was worth it? Second, or? So you'll have to be patient mm-hmm. Hold on. <laughs> How's that reason, Brad? Delicious. Please... <laughs> you have to look for answers yourself. This thing's talking to me? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Alright, you can go back to talking about your stupid French stuff now. <laughs> How's your cereal? Still good. Uh, <laughs> and wet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, Wait. I know French now, so that's good. Um, I like the idea get a lot got... of use out of that. I mean... In I Canada. I did. I'm, I'm a French. I'm supposed to be a French teacher. That? I can't find a job, <laughs> but I'm supposed to be a French teacher. <laughs> hey! High five. That, I also did like yeah, bilingual yeah. customer support, and in here. theory, it's easier to find a job if you have if you have French in Canada because it's a big deal. Oh, I didn't know you were in Canada. That makes more sense. <laughs> yeah, I'm in Canada. <laughs> I'll, I'll stop chastising you about knowing French now. I also got to read a lot of cool stuff in the original There's language. Here. Um. Like Sartre and and things yeah, like I, that. I got I, to, well, like a I lot of Japanese manga. <laughs> in, I actually have some manga French in French. In French. <laughs> <laughs> Are you from Alabama? What happened there? <laughs> Look, it's late. <laughs> I went through French immersion. <laughs> My favorite French <laughs> French language video <laughs> game is <laughs> Monster <laughs> Francher. <laughs> <laughs> I can't find a job. <laughs> Let's be honest, though. Someone has made French dressing. Someone has mixed French dressing yes. and ranch dressing, it's, it's and they just think it's the best with, fucking thing. With mashed that up sounds good. Right. God, no, it doesn't. What doesn't what? That does not sound good. Also, I bet it looks terrible, like milky orange. Ugh. I have all this stuff in my inventory now. I'm so excited. Oh, apparently there's a French dressing scene in Breaking Bad. <laughs> what is French dressing? What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. French when you, you described it, I was, I was too busy laughing about it. What's it sound like it is? It sounds like it's ranch dressing with something else in it. <laughs> yeah. French dressing. Oh, French dressing. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Listen, I don't know a lot of dressings. I mostly use Italian. I didn't know that there was a thing called French dressing. There's an Italian dressing, but there's no French dressing. I don't know. There's not an American dressing. Well, ranch, but <laughs> it's not called. It says French kissing. <laughs> Is that just kissing with a mouthful of French dressing? That's uh, that's actually a Andrew's favorite kind. No. <laughs> Tolvo says, I don't even put any dressings on my salad. I like salad plain. What? Like, I have I'm salad. Sorry. I could be eating a what? salad. You remember the first time you French kissed a girl? The, that was we weird. Just it was, that it was on this stream. <laughs> yeah. Was it? I don't want to talk about it right now. How was it? How was it good for you, Phil? Austin, you know that it wasn't good for me. I mean, but maybe in retrospect, you learned a lot. Hey, 
Hey, what's this? Is this an iPod? <laughs> not. We we have a chat, guys. Oh, it says the wiki for French dressing. Says yeah, that I can't see the chat right now. It's synonymous with vinaigrette. I know what that is. I it's, not, it's, it's not, not a, really. It's not a it vinaigrette. Says French dressing is a term used for different salad dressings in different countries. Initially, the term was a synonym for vinaigrette. Initially. In America, French dressing is not a vinaigrette. It's like a fluorescent orange, bitter, not bitter, sour, like yeah, creamy. Sour yeah. You would be upset if you ordered a vinaigrette and got French dressing. Oh, yeah. Yep, guys, do you know who my favorite actor from Third Rock from the Sun is? French Stewart. French Stewart. <laughs> Is that who it was? <laughs> was it I wish I knew any other actor from Third Rock. <laughs> Joseph so Gordon-Levitt. Say, no, Just, this you person. Idiot. Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Jesus. Dummy. He Jones. cares. <laughs> I'm sorry. The I'm guy sorry. who murders people in other shows. He's really uh, funny. John. Le 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 Gordon Levitt. Yeah. Gordon Levitt. John Gordon Le Levitt. <laughs> Guys, there's these fucking ads on Hulu right now for Joseph Gordon-Levitt's hit record on TV show. Yeah, so everybody, everybody's crazy. complaining about those, and I haven't seen them, but it does bum me out that everyone's complaining because I like Joseph Gordon-Levitt. I what love Joseph Gordon-Levitt. That is what's happening? That why, is like, why, are we, why are we all hating on JGL now? He's just like the smarmiest asshole in this ad, and like, ugh. He does seem like a really smarmy asshole. He seems like his character from, uh, uh, what was it, John Juan or something? Or Don John? Or was this dumb movie that he <laughs> wrote about like, loving Don John? Sure. Like, the, that, his, he's just playing that character forever now? I think There's this is just... Really bad. I mean, the other thing has... is, it's a TV show from his, like, he has a website called Hit Record, yeah. which is, like, a crowdsourced media arts thing. Where the premise is he gets 50% of anything that's made from something that gets created on the site, and then the creators get 50%. But the creators are like 200 people, because like someone does the music and someone does the whatever. Like it's a big deal. Like it's a, again, crowdsource, like lots of people. That together. seems like a really bad deal for anyone. <laughs> that also sounds like a really bad way to make a piece of anything. Yeah, well, and then I the mean, show is like uh, it could be cool. I'm not the saying, way, the way, so uh, the the like uh, uh, the the financial stuff I think is is questionable. The way that the way that yes. it's pitched in terms of like how it's p produced is like is the idea that it's it's you know a bunch of people coming together to work on something, which I think like yeah. cool shit can come from that. Totally, that's what Absolutely. this stream like, is. Just, yeah, Joseph Gordon Levitt has a bunch of money and does fifty <laughs> percent yeah. of people that doesn't. Don't that's have what money me out. Exactly. Yeah. Because he isn't doing significant labor. It's like, I don't know. I'm not going to get into Austin Walker labor issues during our 1953 KGB Unleashed He game. should get the same cut they do. Has it ever yep. stopped you before? Be cool. I mean, <laughs> I've, I've bit my tongue more on more than one occasion. Because I don't want to derail things. Because I'm the worst. Um, but... No I don't want to see that side of Joseph Gordon-Levitt. I just want to see the side of him where he plays fake Bruce Willis in a cyberpunk future. Like, just show me that, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. You know? Uh, Vorbal Femme says Joseph Gordon-Levitt is basically a not-terrible James Franco, which I think that they're one totally different. And is James Franco terrible? I like they, James Franco. They sound, sim they sound like they're similar in real life. Right. Well, both are better than Shia LaBeouf, so... Oh, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> when was that ever up for debate? To find a worse. I don't know, but you guys heard this crazy, his crazy plagiarism shit. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, that stuff's great. Yeah. No, I'm not, guys. I'm not going to rant about labor issues during our stream anniversary. <sighs> yes, you are. Look at this Do you Shut up. You are this too. radio. Are you engineering this radio? Well, tune it to Kishnev. They have the best music. Austin. I haven't. I don't Austin. think I've heard Austin, Austin ever complain needs... about labor issues. What? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've heard you. Can, I've heard you rant about a lot of things, but never labor issues. That's literally ninety percent of what Austin talks yeah. about at all times. I mean, yeah. What? I was gonna say, Austin. It, the stream anniversary should be accurate to like any typical <laughs> stream. True. Yeah. So you really should be talking about it. Well, listen. What are, the, what are the labor issues that you've? I mean, there's obviously things to complain about. I don't think you haven't. Complained yeah, about. I honestly can't think of anything Great. that he's talked about. Right. I'm not. I, I thought. Right. I thought that. I thought that. Uh. I thought you guys were gonna be like. I can't think of anything that you could complain about related to labor. Oh, Everything's no, fine. Of course, it's like basically anything, but I just uh, haven't heard it from. 
I'm not gonna I, do I don't that. understand what people's problem is for uh, with a with a good day a good hard day's work for an honest wage. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you can make it if you try. You know, you just got to get out there and bust your ass. I'm just you saying, know? keep the government out of my pocket. <laughs> if you're a hard worker, you'll get a job. You know, you just got to knock on those doors and turn in those resumes. And these millennials. And while we're at it, labor unions. Ugh. <laughs> Tell me about it. I technically work for a labor union, sort of, kind of now. Are you a teamster? No. <laughs> I technically. He's actually. Sort of a, he's work. a strike breaker. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> it's sort of like working for. Um, <laughs> oh, you're close. He's actually a combo breaker. It's it's, it's pretty different. I was. Uh, Please, I was. It's, it's, a, uh, like a it's similar, breaker. but an important difference. Very important. Yeah. I was a scab for a little while, but it was okay because it was the Osmosis Jones movie. <laughs> Jesus, God. Sometimes, buddy. Could someone drop him from the call? No. You're mad that I made an Osmosis Jones reference? It's not like you're flooded with them. <laughs> I just wish it was better. No. I I want you to increase the frequency of Osmosis Jones references, but. Also increase the quality of them. I I I am hard pressed to find a better Osmosis Jones reference that cross sections with labor issues. <laughs> uh, All right. I wonder if Osmosis Jones did have like he was a cop, right? He was like some sort of body cop. Look yeah. at this. He was what a white blood cell. Did they have a white blood cell union? I'm he, curious. He, what? I don't think. I'm gonna guess bad, that didn't a bad came angle. Up. <laughs> yeah. They made like a Nickelodeon cartoon out of that movie, but with but with Orlando Jones as the voice actor, probably, Where's or Phil. Jones? What? Am I just not? I, I mean, no, Orlando it, Jones. There's the a lot of people. slash slash Sleepy Hollow star. Orlando type type type. Oh, I know Orlando Jones. Oh, you might know him from those Sprite ads. I know him from a bunch of stuff. I just didn't oh know. yeah. I'm was trying to figure out. Joe, I probably seen it on a cop Keith, show. was your was your uh, was your explanation for not knowing who that is ju just now? There's a lot of people. <laughs> is that was that what you said? <laughs> he just left hold on, hold on, hold on. Sentence. In his defense, in his defense, there's kind of a lot of people. No, I mean there's you're not wrong. Like, <laughs> there are a lot of people. <laughs> Austin, do you disagree? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Hmm. There's totally a lot of people. That, that's... There's way there's way too many people to know all the people named Orlando, even. <laughs> I feel like there's only maybe two, maybe three Orlandos of note in showbiz. Also, it was Phil Lamar, the only black voice actor. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I don't who know what I'm definitely doing. definitely more should black we, voice actors than that guy. Wait, who was the original? Should Chris we do Rock? our next thing? Chris Rock. Yeah, you want to move on? I don't know what else to do in this game, and uh, you're you're the worst walkthrough ever. Sorry. Uh, look Ooh. on the ground and read the comic. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you told me last time. <laughs> it just keeps coming back to those comics for you. So, is <clears throat> you saw like a glimpse of maybe something unleashing? And then it definitely said eye ray and telekinesis. Yeah. But other than that, zip kind of a snooze on a ship. Walk through and see if there's anything else neat that happens. There's a pickaxe. Yeah. You probably there's just some... use the pickaxe to break something. I don't know. I still really want to know what FVU stands for. Fashion victim unit? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Law and order fashion victim unit. <laughs> Go back to the shower room. Go forward Stop and saying my dreams. Tunnel. That would be great. That I imagine that being somewhat similar to Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. Probably. Go back to the shower room. Go forwards and click on the tunnel. You're free. Congratulations. You finished the game. That's the. That's the solution. Whoa! The spoilers! Tunnel. Holy shit! That's it. Go to the shower room. I'm gonna. I'm gonna quit this game. We're gonna go on to our next Wait, thing. Is the game for real? Almost done? No. Oh. Uh, we'll be back in a few minutes. We're gonna we're gonna yeah, actually we'll play, play a we'll good play. game next. We're gonna we'll play, play some uh, Nidhogg. I Raise think. Your I think. Can I play <laughs> with good. you? Uh, no. I... Yes, yeah, probably. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I think Dylan's gonna join us. So Dylan Hecht will be cool. with us as well. Dylan Hecht. That that D Dylan, okay. the one and only. Uh, we'll be back in just a few minutes. Cool.